What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Voices from the Mausoleum. I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Vampire Cosmetics Silent Hill collaboration. Um, I got the collection box. We're going to jump into all of the things that are in it. I'm going to do a look, and that's going to wrap up the video. Um, my uh, my son really wanted to help unbox this. So, uh, you know, here's the unboxing. But wait, are you going to be in the vampire? No, we're going to open the box together. Didn't you want to be a part of that? Yeah. Didn't you want to be a part of it? Okay. Yeah, I want to be a vampire. No, we're not making it. You're not going to be a vampire. The package is from Vampire Cosmetics. I know, but I just want to be a vampire that walks it off. You All right, we'll see how it goes. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Voices from the Mausoleum. And today, we are doing an unboxing of the very highly anticipated, at least by me, uh, Vampire Cosmetics uh, Silent Hill. Um, I don't think it's called a promo box, but I got the whole shebang. So we're going to open it um, with my little here because he wanted to be a part of it. And then, um, yeah. then uh, later after he will put some on. Okay. The only thing is, Puka, I don't know where my uh, scissor. Oh, here they are. <laughs> How's that popsicle? You don't think it's too cold for a popsicle? Never. I've seriously been waiting for this. I pre ordered this like a month and a half ago or something like that. I'm anxiously awaiting its arrival. You excited to see what it looks like? Mm -hmm. These aren't monsters that you really know much about. Not like Ghostface. You know who that is. You know Ghostface, don't you? And you know Dracula. Uh, who's that green guy behind us? There he is. You excited to see what it is? Yeah. Right. Hello? Yes, you can you can have the bubble. Oh no, my screen is too glary. Oh I'll put pictures up. Actually, after I take the thing off, it may look better. Or it may stop doing that so much. Just want to make sure I don't hurt the packaging. Oh. Who got this for you? I probably got this. I ordered it. I pre ordered it. I ordered it before it even came out. Super shiny, though, which is problematic. <laughs> like, shiny is mighty. Shiny is mighty. Anyway, this is the box. Collection. Konami Digital Entertainment. On the back, it's got the name of the collaboration and then all the pieces that are in it. Yep. Box exclusive lipsticks, nurse palette, and pyramid head. Whoa, hey, hey, careful. Dude, get off your drink, please. If that spills, that's going to make a big mess. Okay. So, how do you open it? Uh, oh, it's a thing. Oh, yeah, right there. Yeah, right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. Mommy shouldn't have held it like that. Oh, crud. Put him back in there and put her back in here. And those like this. So, okay. So, first glance three lippies and the pyramid. Oh, head. We, need to make, we need to make it like that. Well, no, these are just the eyeshadow things. We're about to take them out and look at them. You want to take them out? Take the pyramid one out. You got it? It might be a little tricky. Of course, now that I put it back in there, now I don't want to come out. Yeah. I'm, I'm doing it. Okay, okay. You can help. I told you you could help. There you go. There's one. We'll have to ask you to do this one. It's one you tilt it up. That might be helpful. Is that better? Is it stuck? Maybe I pushed him in too far. Oh, I know. I can do it. Okay. Bonk. That's okay. Do you want to show the camera this one? Huh? Can you hold it up and face it up here so they can see? Turn it like that. There you go. Perfect. Good job, buddy. So helpful. Okay, you want to hold it? You don't have to hold it still. You can let it down. Yeah, I pushed it in too far. Mommy messed up. Although I have to say, the packaging on it's good. All right, there. You want to hold that one up? 
It's a big one about uh You know what his name is? What? Pyramid Head. Pyramid Head is from one of mommy's favorite video games. Okay. So and that's a nerd. We're gonna make this ball to the other one. They don't go together, they're makeup. Watch. I'll show you. When you take the wrapper off, this is so cool. Can I yes. I want to open it. All right, just be very gentle. Okay, good job. I think it's going to be magnetic like that other one I have over here. I have their Vincent Price one, and I love it. It's really cool. Okay, be gentle. Okay, can you show? Oh. That's okay. It's about... And then the mirror. Good job. <laughs> so we got both fans. Mm -hmm, Internet put that. to the channel. Mm -hmm. But now, so what do I see and what do I see? So it it just sticks together, but That's when it cool. sticks to a tongue, they have this one. And then this is the back of it. Yep. Clips from the games. It is the back of it too. Very cool. Okay, so. Uh, Okay. Oh, uh, you want to open it up? Uh, yeah. Here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Boo Boo's came to help. And the dog cat, his name is Boo Boo. He's very nice. He is very nice. And he brings me to me. And, we, and I can't kill Boo. There you go. Good I don't know what the bus is. No, you're doing great. Yeah. Just be gentle. Oh, and then. That's okay. That is the only time. This is the mule. You stick it again, okay? And boom, it sticks. Like you know, I didn't intend. No, 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 we need to open it. Still. Oh, I didn't actually plan on you helping with this, but I think this was a great decision. Yeah, but. You're you not monetized anyways. But having a kid in a video won't matter. Okay. Um, These are cool. These might be. Oh, no, you almost got that one. Very cool. Good job. So strong. I couldn't pull that out. There we go. One more. All right, we got okay, three, so we got three this, lipsticks. This one and this is the one. This one, this one, this one. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, it doesn't. Just be gentle when you turn it, okay? So they have characters, I got, so I got, got scenes. New I'll post pictures of these two, and then it's got a nurse on that side. Okay. And then this no, one. No, no, you oh. need to open it. Oh. Yeah, I told you open it. Oh. Mom, so silly. And by the way, I'm so silly. And I lost my hair, but I got some chocolate in my hand when I was eating it, and the hair got in my mouth. So. And the clothes to win, huh? Because I was really with Let's mm. take this. Yeah. And we saw it inside. This inside. Can we see it? So we'll make the camera bigger and tomorrow. How will we make the camera bigger? What I'll do is I'll take pictures and I'll post pictures in the video when I edit it. That's yeah. really cool. All right, what's the next one that we get to do? This is a pop. Uh, what's this called? That one's got pyramid head on it. Is yeah, head on it. And what's the one? And the what? And then this is a red color. The red color. We have the red. We have two red colors, and um, they're kind of tricky to open the first time. Can you help? This is the, okay. this is the back. This is, this is the side. This is the other side. This is what? We have a lot of two. Dang! There you go. Now you can show the red one. You see, this one's the red one. Mm -hmm. That's a red. This is like a nude, is what you would call this. A red pink, and it's called nude, too. And this one's This one is called flesh. And this one's called, what's this called? I don't know, look at the bottom of it. Rust. What? This one's called what? And it looks like the bottom. It looks what? Tell what this is, and tell what the other word is. What other word? Make sure you know. This one's Wait. flesh. That no, one's rust. No, no, oh. no. 
Oh, Mimi. Let's do that. Oh, okay. We got one more lipstick to do. And this is the last one. Mm -hmm. We have three lipsticks about not five years old. How old are you? How old am I? I'm 35. And mom's 35. Mm -hmm. and... I'm going to do the other color. Okay. Yeah. What's the bottom of it say? I got some chocolate in my hair. You do. Uh, yes. We're doing this before bath time. That's correct. And here's the last lipstick. Oh, um, which one is this? That is called Alone. Wow. This is the one you can see the bottom. So, uh, this, uh, open it. Okay. I don't know. It's so tricky. Uh, which color is this? That one's called Alone. Okay. okay. It's like a brown color. Oh, wow. Oh, very brown. Really loud. Mm, like okay. a chocolate. Looks like chocolate. <laughs> it does, it did. Like a, oh, oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna get chocolate back on. All right. This well, is the last one. We have chocolate and bun. It looks like chocolate. It's brown and it's really white. Mm -hmm. So we'll call you back and we're gonna make me, uh, mom's gonna make me into a vampire soon. Right now. You can be a vampire right I, now. And after we're done, we're going to wash it off. For me. Yeah, because you're school tomorrow. Thank you for caring. Yeah. You're the best. We all kicked the kettle and we hug the kettle. Uh, which one do you? That was too cute to like not include, right? Totally agree. All right, so we've got our three lippies. Um, I haven't decided what, this is obviously a different day. I haven't decided what look I want to do yet because, I don't know, the colors in these are so vastly different. Um, so these have got like some purples. This color right here looks blue, but it's actually quite purple. Um, as far as like a, it's a very purple blue, you know what I mean? And then this one is, um, you know, very neutral. But I want to be able to use colors from both for the sake of saying that I did it. So I'm going to do an eye look. And then I'm going to do the rest of my makeup probably off camera because that's not relevant to this at all. And then we'll do a lip and then we'll finish this up. Um, I have one other palette from Vampire Cosmetics that I really liked. Um, and I um, I don't have any complaints. I, I wanted to get into this really quick. And I'll probably talk, I'll talk about this while I'm trying to. I need to decide what I want to do, right? Because I have no idea. I really want to do that funky that funky blue color, but I'm going to be recording after this and I'm trying to think if that goes with it. I might just do the purples from this one and maybe like this. Oh, shit. These colors are, I think I'm just going to stick with a pyramid head. Maybe I'll do another video with these colors, but I think essentially the colorations for these are just really complex or no. Okay. I got it. I got it. I'm going to do both. It's going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. Um, anyway, so one of the reasons that I wanted to do, uh, one of the reasons that I continue to support Vampire Cosmetics, after I bought the original, um, I'm just going to go in with some Ulta Beauty uh, Matte Finish Eyeshadow Primer. This stuff lasts a billion years, so, and it works really, really great. And it keeps things from creasing, and I'm a big fan. Anyway, we'll focus on the makeup that this is actually about. Anyway, so I was... Uh, Right around recently, pretty recently, um, I think, who was it? Was it, oh no, Alice in Chains, perhaps? Alice in Chains came out, I'm pretty sure, I'm so sorry if that's wrong. I will edit it, if I'm wrong, I'll check later and look. But Alice in Chains came, um, came out and made some pretty shitty comments regarding the trans community. Um, I, I would argue also just the LGBTQIA plus community in general. Um, but he came out and he had all these opinions about trans and all these things. Anyway, and so Vampire Cosmetics, which I didn't know this because I don't know if it had been announced, but Vampire Cosmetics had reached, had they were, there was a collaboration planned with them. And, um, and essentially what ended up happening was um i'm gonna go in with um damn decisions decisions so um they were set to release this thing with um with allison chain alice what's his name alice cooper that's it 
saying the last name makes me think that that's actually who it was. I appreciate that's right. Um, I'm just going in with this color called Sins. It's like a sparkly purple color. It's dark purple though. Uh, based on my eye color, that's supposed to be one of those colors that's like good to use. Anyway, I digress. Um, there's also a lot of black in this. Let me find a different brush. Um, my cleaner thing is in a different room. Anyway, so they were supposed to do this collaboration. And uh, I, I guess a, a majority of it had already kind of been set up or something to that effect. And they had to, they released a statement, Vampire Cosmetics, saying that um, basically that they uh, they were not going to be continuing with that collaboration. Um, pretty sure at the very least, I know, I'm pretty sure it's ran by women. And... Um, Holy, this color is a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. It's not a complaint, by the way. Holy pigment. I will say this really quick. Um, this, I, when I tried to use the other palette I had by them, I used a different base, like, a, I mean, a different primer. And I was really struggling with the eyeshadow. And at first I thought it was the eyeshadow. And then I realized it was not the eyeshadow. That was it. That was the blending issue. It was the, the damn primer. So the primers and the brushes that you use matter. It's not just down to the product that you're putting. Just keep, you know, keep that in mind. Anyway, so yeah, so they broke off this, uh, this arrangement with him because they were like, nope, because they're supportive of that, of the community as everyone should be, because there's literally no reason not to, right? Anyway, for those of you who don't know, my partner is, a tr is trans, is a trans woman. And even before then, um, I've always been a part of the LGBTQ IA plus community. Um, and I've, I've always been an ally. So, um, even before I really knew my, anything about my own sexuality. So anyway, my point in bringing up that story is that I really, really, really love that they did that. And, and it wasn't one of these things where they waited, right? Like the, the, the comments came out and within like 24, 48 hours, I would say they had already released a statement and were like, yeah, no, fuck you. We're not working with you. So good on them. I will continue to support this brand. I, at the very least, I think it's women owned. I'm not 100% if it's queer owned or if they're just allies. I don't know. Don't quote me on that part because I'm not sure. But they are, um, I loved that. I thought that was amazing. So anyway, so this is Sins. It's like a dark purple metallic -y color. Um, these things always look so different in the mirrors than they do on camera. Isn't that weird? So anyway, so that's going to be my first color. We'll do that. And I'm going to go in with this uh, color called Dreams, which is like a shimmer, but it's more, less of a brown purple and more of just like a purple purple. So we're gonna try that and we'll see what that looks like. Or is that what I wanna do? Hmm. No, I really wanna use this color, you guys. I'm just gonna use the Abyss. I really wanna use it. It's driving, I'll keep looking at it. I really wanna use it. And I'm doing a let's play after this as long as it pans out. So who cares what the makeup looks Who cares anyway? Where don't you want to wear? I tell women that all the time and then I don't follow my own advice. So yeah, so this company is awesome. That's the moral of that story. And I am looking for a very specific brush that I just saw. Oh, my brush is hard to keep up with it all. There you are. Nope. Yep. Okay. Anyway, so... All right, so we're going to go in with this color Abyss, this like purple indigo color right here. Very pigmented. It does look blue. I, I feel like it's got undertones of purple, though. Everybody's going to be like, it's just blue. It is blue. It is a lot of blue, but it's also got purple undertones. And I don't know what it's going to look like with this dark color. It'll be experimental. So far, I really like the products, though. The colors, and um, I mean, I've been really happy with it. The I haven't bought a ton from them. I think on the pricing thing, like, okay, so I bought the collector's box. I want to say I paid. I pre-ordered it. I can't even see it on camera. Um, I want to say I pre-ordered it. And it was, when I pre-ordered it, it was 120 I can't remember if it was discounted or not based on the fact that it was a pre-order. That much, I don't know. Oh my God, this color is so pretty. Anyway, I'll do better. I don't know how to do makeup videos. This is not a makeup channel. I'm only showing off the product because it's related to horror. All right, I changed my color a little bit so you'd be able to see it. This is the color. I 
I really like it a lot. I guess I'll use this. Uh, hmm. Actually, I wonder if there's a shimmer in the nurse palette that. Yeah. So these are kind of like brown purples. That's my that's my categoriz categorization. So I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna go in probably with my finger because I doubt very seriously I'm gonna have the eyeshadow brush that I want in this. Like I do have it. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the corner of my eye with this like um, this like brown shimmer right here. This is from the, the nurses one. So, you know, it seems a little dark, but you got to trust the process. That's what they can tell me anyway. I don't know how true that is. Mm -hmm. Oh, that shimmer is so pretty. Let's come up a little bit on the eye here. Oh, it's the same thing on this side. Okay, I don't know if you can see the shimmer. Probably not. I'm going to post pictures. Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do, I was going to do, I was going to put some eyeshadow under my eyes, but I don't really feel like it, if I'm being honest. Um, this These formulas are so soft. There's almost, there's little to no fallout. They blend really nicely. They feel very soft. Like the pigment, no complaints there whatsoever um, on the shimmers or the mattes. So, um, okay. Well, I'm going to fast forward. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup. We'll come back and do the lip and then we'll be wrapped up. Okay. I added some eyeliner under my eye because some of the blue kind of fell and left a shadow, which I actually didn't think looked horrible. So I just added some dark to kind of, um, and I did blush, but I didn't do a highlighter. So I'm going to use this color restless and just go over my nose. Oh girl. And top of my lip. And cheek a little bit here. Oh, that shimmer is so pretty. I don't know if you can see it. You can. Look at that. So pretty. I don't know where the take lands for um, actual makeup people who are, but if you have an eyeshadow color that you just really, really like, and I've done this before because like I used to feel like I couldn't do like pigmented like colors that's like, oh, like your highlighter or your blush has to be like a specific color. It doesn't. Um, so I just started doing it. All right. Well, that's my, uh, there's that for these. So again, these are the palettes. This is the pyramid head and the bobblehead. I'm going to post pictures throughout. So don't worry about that. Based on this coloration I got going on up here, I don't know which lip, I don't know why I put that up, which lip makes more sense. So there's the rusty color that's called rust. There's the nude, which is flesh. And then there's the really dark brown one that's alone. I do not like brown lipstick. Okay, let me put the brown on my hand. Let's see how, how dark it is. And if it's awful, I may have to pass on the brown lipstick, y'all. like dark dark all right so let's do hmm. I'm gonna do the nude it's like a pinky nude I think that'll be fine it's gonna be fine that's like a pinky nude not too bad let's see what happens I don't hate it. I like how it feels. I like how it smells. Mm. 
Well, all right, that's the that's the one called Flesh. I have to say the color choices for these are really solid. I'm really happy with it. So yeah, so this is my final look. Again, I'll post pictures throughout so you can get kind of a um a better picture of like what it looks like. The lipstick went on really nice. It feels really good. I've worn one of their other formulas, not with these, but a different one that I think I really, really liked. Um, it's a stay. So it'll, once it dries, it's going to be dry, you know? So I definitely recommend putting on a lip primer before, which I didn't do, but it's okay. Um, just because if you're like me, these dry my lips out. And if I don't do a primer, then they get cracky and kind of gross. Anyway, it's not a formula thing. It's a chemistry thing. Um, anyway, so yeah. So that is the uh, the Silent Hill Vampire Cosmetic Collaboration. Um, super in love with this brand. They also have the rabbit from um, Silent Hill 3. I don't have that one. It wasn't part of the collection. It's the only item from this collection I don't have. So hopefully I'll have him soon. Um, yeah, these are really fun. Um, I definitely recommend supporting this brand. Um, they... I, I like how they seem, what they seem to stand for and the quality of, of what I'm seeing seems really great. I mean, the eyeshadows went on really nice. They're pretty, they're pigmented. The lips felt really good. I like the colors. The rust color is, is going to be my shit because here's the thing. Like, first of all, it's literally like a rust red, which is stunning. Um, there was another um, beauty influencer that had a color similar to this that I loved. And they also are like super transphobic. And so I just, I don't support them anymore. So it's amazing that I found the color that I like and the brand that I'm happy to support. So anyway, that's all I have for this one. Um, I'll put a link to this collection. Um, hopefully you guys liked this. I don't know. Um, like, I'm not a makeup professional. I should do my own makeup when I want to do it. Um, but I was really excited about this. I pre-ordered it and I waited and I was literally like watching the shipping constantly waiting for it. I was so excited. So uh, yeah, that's all I have for this video. Uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Enjoy the rest of your day, uh, your weekend, whenever you get to it. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.